everybody. Welcome to my channel, Jewelry Pirate. This is Barbara. Today's a little fun video. I'm just going to come on and show you a few things that I had managed to get recently. Um, I got some new Russian brooches, and I got a little package here from Robin from My Sky Watch 2. It's been here for a while. I just haven't gotten to it. So we're going to go through that. And I'm going to go over a couple of things that I got and give you an idea of just some different things. You know, a little change up doesn't hurt anything. And uh, gives you an idea of the kind of stuff that I I like and love and everything else. So, all right. Don't forget a thumbs up. Um, really would appreciate that. You can do it now or you can do it before you leave. Just as long as you do it. Okay. And if you have friends that enjoy jewelry and scores and hauls and jewelry openings and uh, sometimes techniques, send them over. Have them join up with the channel. That would be appreciated also. Okay, and if you're watching for the very first time, think about subscribing. We are a small channel, but we're a fun channel. And there's quite a bit of content that comes out, so you'll always have something to watch at some point during the week. At least a couple of videos, if not three. And don't forget to hit the notification bell in case you would like to be informed when I upload a new video. Okay, so we're not going to go through the, the um, a lot of the other details. I mean, I just want to let you know that in the future, if you do want to get anything from the channel, purchase anything, you must be registered with the channel, which means I have to have all your information. And my email is in the description box below the video. And you can send your information to that email. And then I will respond to you and let you know you're all set to go. Okay. Now, I know you saw a while back I purchased um, um, that watch which is a ZX original from 2001. It was in the shape of a violin. Well, I just got a new one. And this one here is a motorcycle. All right. They always come in nifty little cases. So I'm going to show you this. Now, this one here has actually got leather wings on it. Okay. Leather. All really nice leather. Um strap and everything. I love these watches because they're so different. And, um, you know, they, they have so many different things that you can get. And they're very well, they're intricate. They're marked all over the place with a ZX and they're dated yearly. And this is where the face is. And I put a battery in it when I got it. And it works. So, let's see if you can see how pretty nice the face is on these. All right, so I'm happy with this purchase. Um, I've been trying to get um, another one, but uh, that I was interested in, but that didn't work out so far. So I think this is my third or my fourth on these. So I just wanted to show you that how how interesting they are, and. Um, I don't think people really collect them. I just happen to like them. I just, they're, they're heavy, they're well made, and um, I enjoy getting them. Now, sometimes you can get them and you don't get a box with them. I have another one that I don't have a box, but recently I've been trying to make sure that when I purchase them, um, I get the box, the container that it comes in with. All right, so I'm going to put this away. Oh, boy. I don't know if you heard that. The sun's bright out, but boy, oh, boy, there was just some really heavy-duty um, thunder. I hope we don't get a storm. Okay, let's go through this. Oh, let me show you this. Remember I had this necklace a while ago, and I told you I was going to do something with it? I haven't completely done it yet, but I got it all apart, and I have it ready, all right, to go. Now, I can either turn around, and I haven't quite decided yet. I do have a silver necklace um, that I can hook up on here and um, make this into a necklace, okay? I removed the other parts that were on here 
and this is what I came left up with. So I do have the option if I want to take and put a chain in here or if I want to put a pin back on. That's why it's still sitting here because I haven't totally decided what I want to do. I think this would look beautiful with um, a small chain on it and done in the manner of a choker. So I repaired the, um, there was one stone missing and I took these and um, I took the stone out of here. So now I'll just take these and I'll salvage the stones that's left in here and uh, put them in my little trash box there. And then I've got these all set up now. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if I want them to go this way or this way. I think this is the better way. Let me put them both in my hand. You give, Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm going to make earrings out of these. And um, I think they'll be very pretty. I think they'll hang better with the larger stone down at the bottom. So all these need now is an ear wire. And then I'm going to get an Aurora Borealis um, or maybe, uh, oh, what am I want to say here, uh, Moonstone. Maybe a Moonstone bead to hang down at the bottom. So anyway, I wanted to update you on that. Okay, I'm going to put them over here. And, um, and then I'm going to take these and I'm going to take that pearl out there and I'm going to clean that all up and re-put that pearl back in there so that these look good because these are nice earrings. All right. All right, let's go through this little package that I have here from Robin. And um, I'll show you what I got. I think I purchased... I'm not sure if I purchased... I purchased three things. Or four, four things. Okay. And, um, I like this here. I thought this was really pretty. It had a, um, an oriental flair to it. And I think this might have been one of her items that was going to go into, uh, her craft. But it's, it's, um, it's just a big old donut here. I think it's made out of wood. It's got a cheapy old gold tone bead here. But for some reason, I liked it. Um, let me see if I can get this in better for you so you can see it. I don't know why my light is not giving me what I need today. I feel like I need to put a big flashlight over here. All right, but these are big wooden beads. It's really kind of nice. It's unique. I get a lot of jewelry coming through here, and I haven't seen anything like this. And this is 100% uh, shoelace that this is put on, <laughs> All right, which I find interesting. But I can take that and rearrange that so it'll be, a, um, you know, where I can open and close it to get it on my neck. So I thought this was kind of interesting. All right, let's move on to something else. Put this back in the bag. And then I got this interesting piece, which I know for sure was also, you know that I like the weird and bizarre kind of stuff, so this fits into that. Genre. And, um... Let me show you this. All right, these are shells. And these are all little pieces of wood. I'm pretty sure that somebody took and cut, put holes in them, and uh, put them in this necklace. And I thought this was very, very unique. Um, I need to redo something with a clasp on this that's the only thing that it needs because right now it's very short and I don't think that it will fit me as it as it stands but uh, I think it's cute and I think it's different let me just set this down here 
I'll give you a little close-up shot on all the little pieces of wood. And there's the back of the shells. They're kind of nice shells on this. A lot of, um, you know, they're really pretty. So this will be another one that I'll probably add something to and do something um, for a better clasp on this because this is just not going to... I mean, if it fits me, which I doubt, because these things here are going to stick in and make it come out from my neck, it's going to be worse. So, I got that. And that definitely came out of the, um, the Hobby Lot for a dollar. So, I'm happy about that. Now, the next two that I got, I love. You guys know that I have a thing for seed beads. And um, I bought, when Robin displayed this, she displayed these together. I hope it works for me that way. But she did put these together. And um, this right now is a little kinky because it's been in the bag. This is, um, this is just a seed bead um, necklace, which you know I have a thing for. And uh, these are all these little... Um, daisy flowers hanging and it's very fluid and I thought this was really 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 nice so I just got to get this now since it's been in the bag for so long to straighten out and then I got this which I thought was great if I can get it out of the bag Robin sure does pack her stuff nicely and uh, and it's always in great shape when it arrives Okay, this is odd, be this is enamel, and it's odd because it's gold tone and turquoise. Now, we can take this and put this, let's see if I can get this up. I want to bring this down a little bit, but um, my bust isn't as good as hers. But I thought that these two looked really good together. Let me see here. I'm having a hard time. Oh, give me a minute. You can see this is gold tone. There's no signature, nothing on it. It's just pretty. Okay. So I thought that this and this looked really nice together. And I'm going to attempt to try to wear it together and see how it how it goes. And I have other nice seed bead necklaces that the, would probably work with also. But I, I love this. All this beautiful enameling and it's in such a pale turquoise. Um, whether I wear it with something like this or I wear it alone, it's going to be really, really nice. So, And I can shorten this up a tiny bit, the seed bead necklace so that I can make that where it's a little bit better. So those were the two pieces that um, I bought out of the regular show and not out of the um, hobby lot. And then she sent along, she always sends one of her cards, and then she sent me a really cute pro hoey type necklace, which is very pretty. And I'll show you this. This is not the best bust for it. But I got to get this straightened out. And this is a little, stone is a little crooked on this. So I think it's, and it's, it's sewed right on here. So I got to work with it to see if I can get it together. But um, I love it. I mean, I think it's really, really pretty. Um, this is in really great shape. And uh, thank you, Robin. I, I really like it. And I like the pastel beads and everything. This is very long. Very, very long. And this has a W on it. So I don't know who that is. Um, long extender. Very, very, very nice. Yeah, it's getting dark out there now, so I haven't heard any more thunder, but the, the sun is going away. So, okay, let me put this stuff pick, packed up here.
and um, and then I'll bring out uh, some of these Russian brooches that I just got because I think I got a couple that are pretty unique. Um, well, maybe unique for me. So, all right, put that there. I got to take and put these in the bags because I don't want anything to happen to them. I want to keep them clean and keep them from getting. Uh, I want them to stay in the condition that they arrived to me in, which is excellent. Robin does a good job of packing and good job of cleaning. She's like me, for anal about making sure that the jewelry is clean and that it doesn't have an odor. It seems like you open up these bags and some of them come through good and some of them come through like, like stinky. Okay, let me, this also came from Robin at one time too, so I pulled it out. And it's, it's lacquer, and um, it's pretty. All right, we don't need Bertha up here. She can get her butt out of the way. Let me see what I got in here. Okay, I have a few things here. All right, I have a heart-shaped one. That has no border around them. Most of these brooches, when you get them, they always have a border around them. This one doesn't. It's not signed either, but it's still made the same way with that safety pin dug in there. And I thought this one was kind of neat. So I have that. And then there's these two, which are similar. All right, and these are florals. Both of these are signed, and they're signed by the same person. So those are new. This is the one that I just showed you. And these two go together really, really well. Okay, and I don't see a signature in either one of these, but they're very nice. And then there's this one. Now, I'm not sure if this one's Russian or not. I don't think so. It doesn't have that high lacquer finish on it like this does. And this one here has got, uh, looks like deer, and I guess they're all deer of some kind. They're all different as they go along. So, I like this. This one's got a little, needs a little um, TLC around the top here, but it's really pretty. All right. And then I got some in this bag. Yet I got a few more down below, too. Let me see here. All right. This one's different. Okay. Um, now, I'm not convinced that this one, this, this was repaired. I'm not sure if this is Russian or not. It says M-A-H-M Mahmoud on the back of it. But it's this enamel pin. It's an old, old enamel pin. Okay, it's got a C clasp on it. Very, very interesting. And then there's this. This came with this, this stuff here. I have to check this all out. Um... I thought this was very pretty. The um, It's almost like cloisonne, but in fact it is cloisonne, but then it's sealed in um, whether it's a resin or whatever on top of that. It's very, very, very pretty. And then it has all these um, pearls that are all, they're all different sizes and shapes that are all done individually, so it has a lot of fluidity. Very, very, very pretty little necklace. And then in this lot, there was one. Um, this is sort of a Christmassy uh, type one with snow and stuff like that. And this one's not signed either. But uh, very nice. So let me see if there's anything. Oh, yeah, there's one more. Now, this is another one that's oval and doesn't have any um, scalloping or anything going around the edge. So, uh, and this one is signed. This one is 1999, and uh, very, very pretty. So I'm going to put these all away. Just want to make sure there's nothing. Oh, there's a free morph that came in there. All right, put these all away so that they're nice and safe. Let me wrap these up. I'm going to put these two here. Keeping them in tissue paper does help. And then the heart one I'll put in here also. And then just these two. And then we'll wrap them all up and put them 
Oh, it's getting dark. You hear me start screaming in a little bit. You'll know if something's going on. I'm not afraid of thunder and lightning or nothing. I just worry that it get, it turns into a um, uh, tornado watch or something. And then I got to go and seek shelter, which has happened twice. Once it was really bad. All right. Uh, I have this. I don't know when this came. Um, well, I got this one. This is not that long ago. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Ooh. I hope this is the right one. Maybe it's not. This is definitely a haul. Oh, it's just brooches. I must have took them out of the box and then put them all back in. Let me see what's here. This is like finding something all over again. All right, look, there's that. Okay, let's look at these. I know there's another box of brooches, um, Russian brooches here somewhere. It's got like 14 brooches in it. Okay. All right. We got this, which is a airplane. Now, this must have done something at some time because it takes a couple batteries. So, I would imagine it probably lights up. I have batteries. I will try putting something in there and see what they possibly can be. This is gorgeous, this brooch. Um, this only has a C clasp on it. And it's a lot of filigree work on here. I don't see any signature on this. And it should have a signature. This is gorgeous. Can you see that? Alright. And flower. Enamel daffodil. Alright. And then we have these leaves. This is signed. This one here. Let's see what this one says. You know, I... I when I take them out, I don't even really look at them that much. I'm more interested in getting them out and making them safe. I gotta take it out of the bag. All right. Oh, here's some more thunder. Well, this is hard to see. I must be going blind. Well, this is Germany, all right, it's 19-something Germany, and it does have a name on it. Very, 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 very pretty brooch. And there's a signature in the back there. All right, let's put that over here. Now, this is a real old piece. It has, has some issues. Oh, but a very pretty pin, nevertheless. Okay. Very old. I'm surprised that this pearl's got a little mark off of it, but I'm surprised that that's all here and um, still with us. Okay, so I'll put that back. Hope I can get through these before this storm cranks out. It's a real hot day here. I've been in the house. I haven't gone out. Uh, this is a Trafari, I think. Yep, this is a beautiful Trafari silver tone brooch. And what I like about this um, is it has different finishes on it. This is heavy. And it's more Trafari down in here. Very, very pretty brooch. All right. I love all... Uh, brooches is another problem that I have. And this is real old. Okay. Um, this is a pearl. And um, this has the strangest clasp on it. But that's the way it is. This is very old. And it's very pretty. 
it shows some wear, but I love it just the same. And it's um, it's you know, for the age, it's it's withstood a lot in its time. So, and we have one of these. There's some cute things here. I like doing these these haul videos. Gives you an idea of some of the stuff that I get, whether or not I will keep them or put them up for sale I don't know this is a nice ring I've never seen one with a bow on the top and this is all designed here it has a lot of um, texture and stuff in there you can see that okay I don't know what's in here in the other one over there all right this one's really pretty and let's see this one's got a signature on it Ooh. This one's signed too. I probably won't be able to see it. Hmm. This is really pretty. This is Trafari also. And uh, it's beautiful. It's got some, you know, a little bit here and a little bit there, but nothing. Uh, it's got a weird finish. That go that's on the thing it's kind of textured but the, the turquoise beads go really really well with the gold tone all right evidently this was one lot now this one here let me see what the name is on this this one's monet and that's a pretty pin this would be great on a cow neck sweater all right and we have a little butterfly here. I think this one's older also. And this is a JJ. It's really cute. It's tiny. And then we have a couple of just plain old brooches, but they're nice. This one is um, the pearls with the textured pieces. And this is marked also, but I don't know. You know, it's one of those signatures that you can't read it. Another one, nice for a collar. This almost looks like it's uh, silver, but I doubt it. Can you see that? You get an idea? All right, so that's that on that lot of stuff. Let me go through it. i got to figure out where that other um, lot of Russian brooches are. I, I'm... I'm surprised. I'm seeing things that I didn't think were were here. Let's look in here. I don't know what the heck this is. All right. Oh, this is all animal fish. We'll do this real quick. All right. We have this one, and um, I don't know if you can see him or not. He's pretty. Woo! And that's, um, you can see through it. Very, very pretty. I'm going to do this these quickly because I don't want to lose electricity while I'm doing this video because I'll have to start all over again. So we have that. And we have this cute little fish. Can you see him? See the little blue eyes? And there's his tail. And the wings. And wings, oh my god, the fins. And we have an angel fish, which is pretty. Sort of peacocky colors. He's got a big rhinestone for his eyeball. I don't see a signature on him. All right, let's go. I'm trying to think. It doesn't say where these came from. All right. Oh, here's another one. And this one, uh, this one's marked to L-I-A. Another angel, type of angel fish. All right. This one's a goldfish, a fancy thin goldfish. I love this one. Really pretty. I don't see no markings on that. And then this one's supposed to be a koi. 
with the blue eye and this is marked I'll be damned if I could read this it's a long name I'll have to take it out of the bag later and look nice koi fish can you help me see that good and we have a pair of dolphins all rhinestones in their fins green eyes white eye really cute and this is an enameled fish this is an oldie but goodie this one here okay another angel fish here we're almost done uh, and then I will look for those other other pins. This is another angelfish. I think you can see some of these. Let me take this one out. Who knows? Maybe the storm will blow over. Getting loud out there. Pretty. Okay. I'm annoyed now because I don't know where that box is with all those roaches are. This one's really pretty. Another a type of angelfish. He needs a little cleaning. He's beautiful. The colors on him is gorgeous. Now well, this one here looks like some child made it, but it isn't. It's all ceramic. And um, it's really nice. It's heavy. It's all pieces of glass, almost like a stained glass fish. There's the back. Really pretty. Shines a lot. And we got one more piece here. Woo! Okay. This one's, I don't see a signature on it, but this is gorgeous. You see this fish? I think this is some kind of a porpoise or a dolphin also. Okay, so that's what I have in those. I'm going to show you one more thing before I sign off. And, um... And I can put this stuff all away. Um, I've had this watch for a really long time. And um, I could never get into it. And um, I finally did. Look at this beautiful watch. And I love things that have these mesh bracelets on them. No, it's not for sale. Rhinestones are all there. It's Anne Klein. I love it. It is so slinky and so gorgeous. I took my time and I managed to get it open. It's got a beautiful, gorgeous mother of pearl face. And um, what does it say on the bottom of it? Diamond dial. So it's a little, it's got a little scratchies here and there, but. I'll use some of that polish on it. It'll turn around and brighten it right up. You can actually make it a little smaller if you want. And uh, just beautiful. So, really, really nice. And um, one other one that uh, I had here that at one point I had offered it. And I offered it as a, at a ridiculous price in one of the videos. And um, I took the time and I opened it up and I cleaned it and um, fixed it all up. And this one runs also. I don't think I have the, the thing in it. But nobody wanted this bracelet watch. And uh, let me push the thing in. And it's going. And it's an Oscar de La Renta. So this is going in my my collection because it's it's like brand new. There's not a this the plastic is still on there. Not sure if it's on the front, but um, 
This is beautiful. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. I thought I had many, many more uh, Russian brooches to show you, but uh, evidently I don't. So we'll have to go with that. In the next video that I do, I'll, I'll make sure that I've got them and we'll go through them because I got a big package of Russian brooches in and um, I wanted to show them to you because there were some really cute, unique ones there. All right, that's it. I want to get off this video because right now the sky is really dark and it's just a constant rumbling out there. And um, I hope that you enjoyed this. I love this one. This is probably one of my favorites here. These are not for sale. Not right now. They're going back in the box and they'll get categorized and sorted. All right, and um, I like this one here with the with the, the see-through belly, and a really cute fish, and um, that's about it. So, everybody, don't forget the thumbs up; would really appreciate that, and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're watching for the first time. Share with your friends, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Okay, everybody, I want everybody to stay safe. I want you to stay healthy. Watch out out there. Things are not so wonderful anymore. And uh, above all, stay happy. Okay? And um, I want to thank you for coming in and sharing my haul and watching my video and spending a little bit of time of your day with me. It is truly appreciated. And thank you, Robin. I love the things that I got from you. And I love all you guys. And take care. And I'll be with you soon. Bye-bye.